what is the blue score blue score stands for bilingual evaluation understudy and is a popular metric used in many applications like machine translation suppose you are given a model to generate a sentence this could be like a machine translation model and you have a reference sentence which is what the actual sentence is supposed to be that was to be generated so for instance you translated hello world into something and then you have a reference which is what it's supposed to be how do you compare if the candidate you generated is close to the reference so it's used in many applications one is of course machine translation it can also be used in applications such as text summarization or speech recognition or image caption generation and so on anyway where you generate some text and you have some reference text which is what the text is actually supposed to be and you want to see how close what you generated is to the reference so the basic idea is this suppose you have a candidate the cat on mat which your model generated and you have a reference sentence the cat is on the mat which is what is supposed to have been generated and you want to see how close these two are so the basic idea is to take the ratio of the number of candidate words that are in the reference to the total number of words in the candidate which is nothing but the fraction of words in the candidates that are actually in the reference in this case all four words in the candidate are already uh, are also in the reference so you will get a blue score of 1 here because every word in the candidate is also in the reference but it's a different story that there are some extra words in the reference that are not in the candidate right cool so what can go wrong with this so suppose you have a sentence such as the 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 right this is what your model generated clearly this is not a meaningful sentence but if you look at the proportion of words in candidate that are in reference you will get a perfect score because the is in reference and that's the only word in candidate so all the seven words in the candidate are in reference so we don't want this so how do we fix this so one way to fix this is to see that uh we want to consider only those number of words in the candidate when they repeat that make sense from the point of view of the reference so for instance in this case the is occurring only two times in the reference so if it occurs more than two times in the candidate we want to say that okay it makes sense to consider only two reference two occurrences of the in the candidate so we clip the occurrence of each word to the maximum number of occurrences of that word in the reference so in this case since only the appears in candidate and it appears seven times we clip it to two times and now the blue score would be 2 divided by total number of words in the candidate which is seven and it's clearly saying that this is a bad comparison right uh, this is a bad match so instead of just uh using unigrams which is the individual words themselves to compare we sometimes want to capture a little more information relating to uh words that occur together right a little bit about the ordering information and the way to do this is to compute bigram and trigram uh, uh formula as well instead of just with unigrams so in this case the unigram blue score would just be if we take a sentence such as the the cat which is the candidate and the reference is the cat is on the mat the unigram score would be 1 plus 1 plus 1 because each of these words is occurring in the reference and uh, there is uh, the occurs two times in the reference so i can take like a count of 2 for the so it is 3 by 3 which is 1 right but if i take the bigram uh, score what are the bigrams in the the cat it's the the that's one bigram and the cat so bigrams are just pairs of consecutive words 
So there are two different bigrams, and out of these two, the the does not occur in the reference, and only the cat occurs in the reference. So we have a score of half. So we can now compute the blue score for the entire corpus by actually taking, you know, uh, averaging over unigram and bigram, and if necessary, trigram blue scores and then we actually do it over all candidates so if you have summarized many different sentences we want to sort of average over all those sentences and you get like you know a combined blue score for your corpus so what are some challenges with blue score sometimes if a word is placed in the wrong order the meaning completely changes for instance this is a very popular example uh, where if you have a sentence like each bean berliner and uh, pardon my pronunciation here of German this means I am a citizen of Berlin but if you say each bean in berliner it means I am a jelly donut apparently and these two sentences are completely different right uh, in terms of their meaning and so this is something subtle that is not captured very well by blue score some other challenges are that it does not take into account semantic similarity of words for instance if i say instead of saying the cat is on the mat if i say cat is over the mat they are pretty similar but blue score cannot handle the fact that on and over are quite similar it is more focused on precision and not focused on recall so in if you see the first example that we had the cat on mat you see that every word in the candidate is actually in the reference so you'll get a perfect blue score for this but there are some words in the reference that are not in the candidate right uh, so the blue score does not take into account that it turns out the blue score is pretty easy to use in your code because there is a ready library implementation you can just get NLTK translate blue score and import sentence blue and you can actually just give it the reference and the candidate sentences and it will give you the blue score. To summarize, we looked at blue score which is a popular way of evaluating how close a candidate sentence that your model generated is to the reference sentence that a manual evaluator might have come up with. It's popularly used for machine translation but can be used for many other applications. Thank you.